The Gecko device is easy to fit and can be applied in just 60 seconds. On the front is a location marker to correctly position the device, plus and minus buttons to switch the device on and off and to change the stimulation levels, and two LED indicator lights. The Gecko device is worn on the leg with the ulcer. If both legs have an ulcer, then a device will be needed for each leg. Before fitting the device, first find the location where the device is to be secured. It can be found on the outside of the leg, just below the level of the knee, at the center of the fibula head. The fibula head can be felt as a round protrusion at the very top of the fibula bone. To find the fibula head, run the fingers downwards from the center of the kneecap to the tibial tuberosity bone just below the kneecap. Working towards the outside of the leg, you will come first to a prominent piece of bone called the lateral condyle. Moving over the bone, continue towards the outside of the leg and moving very slightly downwards, feel your way to the head of the fibula bone. It can be felt as a much larger and more rounded protrusion in comparison to the lateral condyle. Alternatively, locate the fibula head by placing your fingers on the ankle bone, on the outside of the leg, and in the groove between the calf muscles and the muscles at the front of the leg. Run your fingers upwards towards the knee until you feel the round protrusion at the top of the fibula bone, the fibula head. Mark the center of the head of the fibula bone with an indelible marker. To open the device pack, simply peel the two ends of the foil pouch apart. Inside, you will find one gecko device fixed to a reusable backing card. Using soapy warm water, gently wash the area with the devices to be fitted, removing moisturizer if present, and rinse with clear water and pat dry. Do not apply moisturizer as the device will not stick. Excess hair may be removed using trimmers or clippers. Avoid shaving, as this may damage the skin and increase the risk of skin irritation. With the device in the off mode, peel off the backing card. Secure the device to the leg with the patient sitting with the leg bent, so that the location marker, the line of arrows, is positioned directly over the center of the fibula head and aligned with the mark drawn on the leg. Retain the backing card for storing the gecko device between treatments. Correctly fitted, the blue branded short end of the device is positioned to the front of the knee, with the long end wrapped around to the rear of the leg, below the crease of the knee. This will place the negative electrode over the common perineal nerve and positions the plus button to the front of the leg, whichever leg the device is applied to. Note on the left leg, the Gecko brand name will appear upside down. Once in position, use a short press of the plus button, 0.5 seconds, to turn on the device. The device will start once the button is released and further short presses to set the appropriate level, reached when there is a visible movement of the muscles in the lower leg, moving the foot outwards and upwards. Set the stimulation level to the maximum the patient can tolerate easily. To alleviate any patient anxiety, it is important to ask the patient what they feel at each increase of the stimulation level. The common perineal nerve is closer to the fibular head in the sitting position. There are 10 stimulation levels in the Gecko Wound Therapy device. The settings are indicated by the number of flashes in sequence from the LED lights while the device is in operation. The setting may have to be increased if the patient is standing or lying down and reduced when sitting. Check the patient again soon after fitting the device to ensure that the Gecko is still giving a comfortable and effective level of stimulation and readjust the level if necessary. To reduce the stimulation levels one by one, Use a short press, 0.5 seconds of the minus button. To turn off the device or pause the treatment, hold the minus button down for three to four seconds. Note that when the button is pressed, the LED will flash rapidly and then stop to confirm deactivation. To remove the device, slowly lift the long end of the device. Use one finger of the other hand to gently push the skin down, taking care to peel the adhesive gel off the skin along with the device. Lift the device progressively at a 30 degree angle from the leg. This will preserve the device and prevent damage to the skin. If the primary fitting location does not produce movement of the muscles, stimulation may be achieved using the alternative locations. After preparing the skin, apply the device either slightly above or below the crease at the back of the knee with the location marker aligned with the outer lateral collateral tendon. See geckodevices.com for further details. For additional security of position, use the hypoallergenic adhesive strips that can be fastened over the device. This will adhere best to clean, dry skin when gentle but firm finger or hand pressure is applied to the adhesive strip from the center outwards. 
Never apply under tension as this may induce blistering or skin tearing. This speckle spectroscopy clip of a peri wound area shows microcirculatory blood flow at baseline and with the gecko device switched on.